that's me. I'm Joni Phillips and I'm evil. For the past 32 years, I've been trying to kill and destroy the legacy of Alec Robbins, creator of the best TV show in the world. I tried to stop him. I tried to sabotage him with tricks and foolery, but it didn't work. He prevailed and now I live in a dystopia formed by his stupid show. Everyone loves him. Everyone adores him and I can't go anywhere without seeing his stupid face. I have to find a way to destroy his legacy, even if it kills me. Hi, Joni. How are you today? Hi, Doctor. I'm feeling evil, but other than that, pretty good. Wait a second. Didn't... weren't you on Alec Robbins' TV show? The best one in the world? Yeah, that was me. That Alec is so funny. You're lucky to be in his TV show since it's the best one. I guess. Uh-oh. This isn't good. What? What is it? You have reverse Benjamin Button disease, which means you're going to die within 48 hours, the length of an average movie. What? Yeah. You better get living. You don't have much time left. living you're right i have 40 hours left to live ha! Ha! that's it i'm gonna spend my last 48 hours of living trying to destroy alex's legacy of making the best tv show ever and also destroy him in the process but how do i do it i guess my first step is to go scream at people at the westfield valencia town center since that's where everyone is <laughs> Everyone, listen to me! I'm trying to make a show! It's very important that you listen to my ideas! You think I'm a joke? You think you cannot pay attention to my ideas? Pay attention before I make you pay attention! Here's my idea! It's like cars, but without the cars. So it's just a bunch of car-inspired landscapes. And it's really boring. There's no point to it at all. It's just... It's, it, Please don't go! Please don't go! I need to make a show right now! I need it! I need it! I have 46 hours left! It took me two hours to drive here! Hey, you need an agent? I can be your agent. Yeah, I'm gonna need all the freaking help I can get. Hey, he's here. The CEO of Animation Channel. I called him to come here. Oh, great. Hey, kid. I think you got what it takes. I know! If only TV could see that. Oh, trust me. I will come with me. Okay. So can I show you all my ideas yet? Do you know what it takes to make it in this biz, kid? What? To make it in this biz, it's kind of like a thick, juicy pretzel. You gotta have a lot of salt. Lights up your tongue, huh? Little bits, every bite, a little zing. Now dip it. Dip it in that side of cheese. If you don't have any cheese, get out. You have nothing. You need to have that cheese. But what's inside the pretzel? Mm, shh. I know you want that pretzel. But your mom, she took it. Before you could eat it, you never got that pretzel. She took it from you, and now you're gonna chase it for the rest of your life. You're gonna go through women and wives and children and so many houses, and you're never gonna know what that pretzel tasted like. You'll never know. No other pretzel is gonna satisfy your unknowable thirst that can't be quenched. It all comes back to that pretzel. Uh, anyway, here's my idea. It's slugs in the real world. Slugs who have jobs. Get out! Hey, you got any friends? Yeah, let me call them. Hey, guys! What did you want us for? Okay, I have an idea I want to run past you guys. What do you say? Sure, we love ideas. Okay, it's called Screwdriver Ultimate. It's a show about huge screwdrivers who live in, a mount in the mountains screwing things together. Boys will love it. We love it! Great, can you get me a show? No, but we can give you a hot tip. Tom Hanks watches his baseball games at Hankey's Stadium. Okay, whatever. That will never help me with anything. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, thank you so much. No, no, no autographs. I'm so sorry. I can't sign anything right now. I didn't bring a pen with me and I don't know how to write, so I just can't sign anything. Thank you, though. Oh, another, another award? I'm okay. I don't need the award. I've got so many awards that having one more would literally be annoying to me. <laughs> it would be so annoying to have an extra award. I've got the maximum amount that I would want. Oh, thank you so much for liking me. That means a lot. Don't know who you are. If I did, I might like you back, but... Uh, just because I have no criteria to judge you on, I don't. I cannot say if I like you or dislike you. Just you're a neutral zero to me. Hey, it's good to meet you. I love you. I love you so much. Um, I- I'm gonna marry you. Okay, bye. Okay, next. I have you pitching to Shane Dawson. CEO of Tyson Chicken. They're trying to get into the animation biz, just like everybody else. Great. Are you ready to get blown out of your socks in shocks and amazement? I always am. Okay, well, here's my idea. It's called Coward Porch. There's three cowards on a porch, and they're all angry as hell. Look, kid, you got pesto. I like your speed. I like your guts. I'm gonna give you a focus group to figure out how to fix you. Sounds good to me. Anything that'll get me a TV show that I need to kill Alec Robbins with. Okay, welcome to the focus group for Tyson Chicken Animations. Here are your evaluation slips. Okay, take it away, Joni. Okay, my first idea is Happy Duty Trash Bags, where all your favorite trash bags come to life and sing music. My second idea is about wall plugs. Where do they go when they're in the wall? I don't get it. When do I get my Baskin Robbins coupon? After. My last idea is 3,000 Dalmatians. It's like 101 Dalmatians, but there's way more. So it'd be way better due to the sheer numbers of Dalmatians. Maybe the Dalmatians should be chickens, since Tyson makes chickens. Should they be fed the chickens? (laughs) No! You don't understand the point of the project. The Dalmatians are essential. I'm allergic to dogs, so I hate it. I hate you, lady. I hate you. I hate Tyson. I hate chicken. I hate animation. I hate all of it. This makes me glad I'm going to die in 12 hours. Oh, no, I have 12 hours left. I am nowhere close to making a TV show. Jiminy Asian, I summon thee. Hey, what's up? Please give me a new opportunity right now. Guess who's getting into streaming? Who? Think innovation. Think youth. Kirkland signature? Even better. There are 3,000 chickens in this town. And how can they rest comfortably knowing that they should be preparing for war against evil? Let them sleep. In the night I will keep watch over the darkness that encroaches our chicken city. It's not the life I would have chosen, but I was born to fight. It is a burden, but also a gift. My gift. Ah! I'm here to see Mr. Roomba. Oh, that's a funny joke. You must mean Mr. Mr. Johnson? Yeah, that's what I meant. I was just joking. Nobody's named Mr. Roomba in real life. There he is in his giant personal Roomba that he rides everywhere. Not even just at our factory, but in his whole life. That's how he gets around. I think it's it's good. I think it's really cool. Oh, okay, me too. Uh, bye, I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, bye. Mr. Roomba, Mr. Roomba! Did someone say something? Oh, sorry, I mean Mr. Johnson. That's better. I only talk to people riding their Roombas, so you better get on one if you want to talk to me. Okay, I will. So I hear you here at the... So I hear you here at the Roomba company, you're looking to get an animation? Yeah, we are. It's a big step into our next phase as a company. Being worse. Well, I'm animation. I'm so many ideas. Name one. Uh, talking... Uh, talking... Talking, uh, talking, Roombas. 
talking Roomba. You've got to get better ideas than that if you want to impress me. I've already got an animation team hard at work at great new ideas. Well, what do you want to see on TV then, Mr. Johnson? Well, what do you want? What about your children? You want to see them on TV? I can put them on TV. It'll be easy. I want to see Tom Hanks on TV. He's always in movies and never on TV. Hmm, I think I have a connection with him. Please let me in. Please let me in. I just need to talk to you about television. You're my last hope. <laughs> Jiminy, talk to him for me. I gotta get TV. Okay, I will. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Are you fertile? Oh, another shrimp. <laughs> Jiminy, just the cricket. No! Something. I gotta make the show. You know, I tried really hard these past 48 hours. I've been trying to make the world's best TV show. I've been trying to get people's attention and look over at me, and now I'm dying, and now I'm dying, but guess what? That's not all. Sometimes. You have to die to understand what really matters in this life and not just attention and gold and can give you nice things in this world. You have to be ready to get your own goal by working hard and knowing your own thing. And guess what else? I'm dying right now, but I just don't care because I'm dying and there was no reason behind it. I didn't even get to kill Alec Robbins. And now I'm dying. Today I saw a baby smile. Today I saw an old man cry. Today I saw Tom Hanks sitting and eating shrimp from little hands. I don't care, I love it all, I love life. I love shrimps that Tom Hanks eats just as much as I love the smile of a baby and the fluorescent lights of the, of the bathroom at the animation channel. Those are my real friends, those are my real loves and I don't know if I'll live to see them ever again, but I know this is my calling to talk to you, Tom Hanks, and get your attention like, the, like this. I, didn't, I know I didn't get on TV, but I loved every second of it. Uh. She had to die, but now the best show ever is on TV. She did it! The bastard did it! Maybe there's more to life than chicken. Not bad, wow. Not as good as shrimp stuff. I wonder how things are going out there. I guess I have a new favorite TV show. I'm almost ashamed. But I pick up the phone and I call the man in charge. I say, I want another shot, one more shot. And that's how I made the best TV show in the world and died as I lived, evil and winning, just like always. But today I realize something else that I also am, a legend. <laughs>